Good morning everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam. Here we are learning about the OTBI, which is an Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence, a reporting tool uh, which provided uh, by Oracle under the Oracle Fusion application with the help of which we can generate the report. So in this uh, uh, session, uh, in the last session, I have uh, shown you how do we create our simple analysis uh, under OTBI using BI Composer. And then in our last session, we have seen how do we edit the existing analysis. And we have uh, we had uh, performed some kind of uh, editing in the existing analysis. We have seen the editing in the existing analysis, like uh, how do we sort uh, the analysis and how do we exclude uh, any particular measure from the analysis. Uh, then we have uh, how do we highlight any particular measure in any particular format. So these are the things which we have seen in our last session. And in today's session, uh, I'm going to show you how do we add uh, the graphical representation in the analysis like adding a chart uh, to the analysis by using BI Composer. So in order to do so, we, uh, we have to log into the instance. So here I have logged into the instance and this is the home page of our application and uh, the navigation for uh, the OTPI environment is we have to click on this navigator icon and under this uh, navigator icon we have to search for the option which is the tools one and under tools we have to click on this reports and analytics option then it will going to redirect us to the OTBI home page where we will be uh, able to uh, create any new analysis or we have we will be able to see the existing analysis so that we can edit that one also so here this is the analysis which we have seen uh, in our last session so this time i am going to use this existing one in order to add uh, the graph in it so what we have to do i have to click on these three dots which is just right away and i am going to click on this edit option so that uh, this particular analysis will going to open in the edit mode So here is the analysis which has opened in the edit mode. So in order to add the graph in it, we have to click on this next option, click on it. And whenever we open any existing analysis, this preview option has got disabled. So make sure that this preview option is enabled so that we will be able to get the preview of our analysis. And um, after getting the preview for this one, we have to from here we have to select the graph and uh, these are the graphs which we have in this uh, OTBI environment like uh, we have the bar which is the recommended one we have line chart area chart scatter chart pie chart line chart so whatever graphical representation we want to implement in our analysis we can select any one of them so this time I'm going to select this one which is bar and it is the recommended one. So I'm going to select this one. When we select uh, uh, any graph so that uh, after selecting any graphical representation it will generate uh, this kind of error like uh, exceed configured maximum number of allowed output columns so what we have to do we don't need to worry about this error we just have to click on the next option and again we have to click on the next option and under this edit graph window we have to we will be able to rectify this error so what we have to do uh, as a uh, uh, we have so many measures uh, under this uh, group by clause so here we can uh, we will keep only those measures which are uh, uh, required uh, in the graphical representation so uh, i am going to exclude the invoice date 
So uh, select this invoice date and click on this move to option and click on the excluded one so that this invoice date uh, will uh, exclude it from the analysis. Same thing I am doing for the invoice number also and for the invoice description, invoice currency. and i want to exclude the site information also so what information i want to keep uh, in the graph like uh, i want to represent the invoice amount and the supplier information so here this uh, error has been rectified over here and we will be able to see the graph in the analysis the Vertical bar contains the invoice amount information and the horizontal bar contains the supplier information. After uh, adding this uh, graph, click on this next option. Here we can perform some kind of sorting and filtering which we have seen in our last session. And click on the next option. In this uh, window, we can uh, perform some kind of uh, measures highlighting which we or which we have already done over here after that click on the click on the next option then it will going to open the window and ask the name for the analysis so we have to provide the appropriate name for the analysis this is the one which i had given in uh, the last session this time i am going to provide the name invoice detail addition with graph as we have added the graph in it same thing i am going to provide under the description also after providing the appropriate name we have to select the destination where we want to save our analysis so under i have told you that uh, whatever analysis we are uh, creating over here we have to keep all these under the shared folder and under shared we have one custom folder and under this custom we can create our own folder which i have which i have which i had already created and this is the one my analysis select this folder and uh, click on this submit option then we will get one confirmation message so click on this yes again click on ok so that the analysis has been saved uh, in order to search the analysis we have to click on this clear filter option and uh, open the shared folder then custom this is the folder and So this is the analysis, open it, so this is the one which we have just created and after doing all these one, one more thing I want to show you like uh, how do we set the layout for the analysis so in order to do so we have to open this analysis in the edit mode open this one and click on the next option make sure that uh, make sure that this preview option is uh, enabled so that we will be able to see the preview of our analysis and this is our analysis and here we can set the layout for the analysis so this time uh, table uh, tabular representation is uh, above the graph and so whatever uh, layout we want to keep for uh, we want to set for the analysis we can uh, 
uh, set uh, that one also like table above graph table before graph table before graph and table after graph so this time i'm uh, this is this time right now the table is uh, uh, appearing before the graph right above the graph so now i am going to select this one which is table before graph so that table uh, is appearing so now table is appearing on the right side and uh, graph is appearing on the left hand side so this is how we can set the layout for our analysis after doing all these things click on this next option and then click on the submit same location same location we have to provide for this one and click on this submit so that it will going to ask do you want to override the analysis yes okay here this is the analysis which we have just created this is the tabular representation and this is the graphical representation or more, more or more specifically a bar graph representation which is the recommended one so this is how we can add the graph in the analysis remember by using bi composer so this is all about how do we add the graph in the analysis and uh, all about our today's session also if you have any question regarding this please feel free to ask and in our uh, upcoming session we will going to see how do we create the analysis using bi analysis editor and uh, thank you everyone for watching